All right, so we showed you how to install uh, and upload an events calendar in your WordPress website, and now you need to utilize it. Um, you got to get those events added because you know you got visitors to your website, and they kind of want to know when you're going to be, where you're going to be, uh, what you're going to do, um, things of that nature. So here we go, and in here we can see here's our events calendar. We can activate it. We can edit it. Um, typically, that's if we use the editor that's messing with code and CSS styles, don't touch that. Uh, don't touch that. Da, na, 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 na. All right, so now we're going to go to settings. All right, so now you notice it opens up here on your sidebar under events. All the settings you got with this calendar, that's one of the reasons why we like it because it's very, very functionable and it's free. All right, so here you can view your calendar. Um, you can show the link. It's kind of a good idea to use that. You're using a free link. These people, they get exposure. They get other people to download their links. They make some money because they've got places you can donate or they've got other services. So, um, And again, here's some of the available add-ons you can do for your calendar. It makes it even more. And that's the paying portion, but we're telling you right now that this is pretty fully functional for free. All right, so here, show your events per page seven. Use JavaScript, can't mess with that. Show comments if you want people to go, hey, great event, super event, we loved it, you know. You can enable comments, um, include them in your main blog. So if you have a blog section on your website and you're creating events, and you can really seamlessly just create the event in the blog. And then, you know, you can link it right to the calendar and create that event and then your blog post you'll be hey we did this event last year it's so awesome so you're gonna review it write about it whatever and then uh, link it to the actual calendar so here's your event slug so this is where your calendar is gonna be so um, we're gonna take this later and we're gonna create this link to put up in our menu on the main page alright so here's the end of the day cutoff if the event costs money they're gonna use the default money symbol Enable Google Maps, that's for the event location. People can get directions, very cool. Um, you can merge duplicates, and then here you can debug. You can click this if you want logs of like if something happens so you can know how to fix it. All right, so those changes, we didn't really change anything, so we're just going to leave it exactly the way it sits right there as what we call out of the box. So now we're going to look at our display. Okay. Here you can add skeleton styles, full styles, or tribe event styles. Now tribe event styles, that's going to be the event style calendar. If you ch click full styles, it says it's going to grab the style from your theme. So if you go here, um, here's your default events template. That's what comes with this plugin. But now here's what your page themes look like when you create a page. So if you click the default page template, it should merge seamlessly within your theme. Alright, so now you can enable the list view, the month view, your default view, whether you want it to be list or month. Um, you want, If you want the search bar up there, you can uncheck this. That allows people to type in the name and it should take them right to the exact event or give them something similar. Uh, month views per day, so they can see um, three month views. Alright, here you can add custom code like maybe a... Uh, uh, before event content, after event content. So this is something here that's going to go that you're going to put in before the event content. So you could put in advertising, you can put in an image or a banner for um, your site that will always display if you had users uploading. So we leave it blank so we're not going to do anything with these either. We might play with it later to see what functions we have and that's always a good idea because you just never know what you have when they include things like this in your um, function so we're just going we'll just actually test it out right now so we will we'll type gun for before and we will type boom for after and we're going to save these changes so in the next video when we create an event we are going to show you exactly what that looks like okay so um, again, we have a menu here now. We want to take that link that we know that's going to link to our events. Um, and we want to go to menus. And you can see we've added. It's a custom because we added the link. All we did was go here. We typed in that link. Shh. 
we Nate labeled it calendar we clicked add to menu and then this is what we get so it's already up on our site all right so if you want to look at it right quick it's in our menu so there's the calendar link and there how they fit it perfectly with the grays to match in with our site um, and so there is the event it's right there